This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the week of July 8th, 2024. No matter what is going on in the world, and I want to acknowledge that we're in a paradoxical time now, a very chaotic and disruptive time, and yet personally, potentially really curative and good, no matter what is going on out in the world, you have lots of support to see things differently, to look at things differently, and to settle into yourself in a way that is extremely secure. Interesting, unusual journey this week. Venus ruler of relationships, all our social interactions, what we value, our money, is in an opportunity aspect with Uranus, the cosmic agent of unpredictable change, of enlightenment. Look for opportunities to do something differently, to perhaps get a desire or a need met in a way that you hadn't previously expected. Maybe you will develop a new desire, maybe a new relationship possibility or creative impulse dangles in front of you. Take it. It won't fall in your lap. Take it. Because at the same time, minds are expanding, options are growing, growing, growing. Mercury is sextiling Jupiter, Mercury in I gotta shine, I gotta be me, look at me, Leo. Show your unique self, don't hold back, speak your mind, speak your peace, be who you really are. And this is actually ultimately calming and soothing. The sun flows into a trine with Saturn on the 10th, following in the pattern in the process that we have already experienced twice. At the end of June, Mercury was in a trine with Saturn. Last week, Venus was in a trine with Saturn. And now the sun is in a trine with Saturn bringing us containment, stability, maybe closed in a bit, but sometimes knowing where the walls are can be really good for your sanity. Look for your own personal grounding cords. Put your anchor in yourself, not in what's going on in the outside world. Stabilize your own life. Stabilize your own base. That is your job at this point. Meanwhile, socializing and relationships in creativity are flying off the charts. The two rulers of love and inspiration, Venus and Neptune, are collaborating in a trine on the 11th, Venus in nurturing Cancer, Neptune in its home sign of all connecting Pisces. This will bring peak moments of understanding, of forgiveness, of compassion, of feeling part of something far greater than your own little mundane life. It makes me think of the puzzling end of a movie from, I think, the 80s called Places in the Heart with Sally Field and John Malkovich. And in the final scene, all the major characters of the story, several of whom are dead, one of whom killed one of the other by accident. These characters are sitting in the same pew in church. They're all in the same place. They're all connected in a religious slash spiritual slash forgiving and otherworldly experience. Look for how that plays out in your life, in the world. And right after Venus makes this boundary blurring connection of grace and highest love with Neptune, she moves into the sign of Leo, a place she really likes because Venus and Leo 
encourages lots of sociability, gregariousness, strutting your stuff, dressing up, wearing the big ass sunglasses and lots of gold jewelry when you go to the pool or the beach, basking in attention, drawing attention, being really generous hearted. And yet, all of these expressions have an undercurrent of something more intense and deeper and more meaningful than dressing up to go to the beach because Venus immediately faces down Pluto on the 12th. This is part of a recurring pattern. A planet in Cancer makes a trine to Neptune, gets all squishy-gushy and things dissolve, and then it moves into Leo and gets all fired up and then immediately faces Pluto and we come right up against fears and evidence of other forces far greater than our own will and existence. Take a good look at them. They're not going away and they may open you to showing your real self with an awareness of the role and existence and importance and inevitability of other people. We are not on the stage alone. We are in this together. Homing thought of the week. Show me how this benefits me. Song of the week, Lights by Ellie Goulding. And the image of the week is stepping onto a stage and looking out into the audience. You'll learn more about this in my forecast for the month of July, which is up at my site, empowermentunlimited.net, where you can sign up for my mailing list and get a Jupiter in Gemini quick reference guide to download as a thank you for subscribing and book a session with me. I'm Kathy Beal, a professional astrologer with more than 30 years experience. I am preparing a class on the charts of the Supreme Court of the United States justices and looking specifically at what was going on at the end of the term and the impact that this has on the U.S. Constitution chart. Look in the links below for information about how you can sign up for it. You can get the video even if you are not present. I'm also giving a lunch and learn talk this Friday, July 12th at 1130 at the Boonton Holmes Public Library in Boonton, New Jersey, uh, about having fun with astrology, things you can do with it besides reading about your sun sign. There's a link for how you can sign up for that as well. It is free, but you should register. I have a lot of bonus content at patreon.com slash Kathy Beal, and I'm really grateful to the people who support my work there. I host the show Celestial Compass on Ohm Times Radio and TV on the first and third Monday of every month at 5 p.m. Eastern. I also host lots of conversation on Facebook, on the page Empowerment Unlimited, and in the group The Astro Insight Lounge. I post on Instagram and threads at, at K.A. Beal and on YouTube at the Professional Aquarian channel. Talk to you next week.